Alright guys, check it out. Here it is. All the way from Disney World. Build a droid experience. 2022. Was it worth it? I'm going to say yes. As you'll see in the footage of the process and everything. It's really fun. Hello. Uh, R2. Okay. Let it stop for it. Wait for it, go back to it, and then block that head out. 
perfect. So we can close up that door. And then we're going to turn your drawing back on and hit that sound button for me. Perfect. That's exactly what we want here. Your drawing is going to automatically cut off after five minutes of inactivity at home. Look it up. You're going to have to move that on that switch on the bottom back and forth. It is interactive, so we'll be talking to other droids while you walk around today. Um, just make sure that when you get home today, turn your drawing off. Okay. Um, we do have an app, it is called the Droid Depot. You can download that, connect, uh, follow the instructions to connect and control your droid from there. And, then, and if you want to play with it straight away, straight out that door with a big red umbrella is. Okay. Any questions for me? No, that's it. Okay, and you have a backpack? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll just put a minute on it. I'm going to say yes, as you'll see in the footage of the process and everything. It's really fun. As you'll see in the footage, it's a pretty fun process. Um, they, I did feel a little gouged because you have one price for the Droid, $99.99. It's been the same since 2019 when they opened. But if you want the Attitude chip for $14.99, you have to get it in a bundle with the bag. So the bag, the chip, and the Droid. 189 having said that though i thought it was fun i thought it was cool i'm a big fan i'm not gonna be going back anytime soon i probably won't get another one anytime soon so it was really neat i will compare this to the chopper droid that i got to show you the size comparison kind of what you get for your money 
Um, it's a cool bag. There's some cool details on the bag. You can see droids on the back. Different stuff. Nice little backpack. Just slip the remote in the side there. Before we bring them out, we'll do that. We'll stick the remote in the side pocket there. Remote's in the side there. There he is. Uh, mine is after Eddie Van Halen. It is the EVH 316. 316 being March 16th, being Wolfgang Van Halen's birthday, and the song from Van Halen 316. There's also another pouch in here with some instructions. Um, they give you a little booklet in there. And there's like a chain to hang, hang things on if you want. It's a really nice, nice little uh, bag. And it comes with this foam packaging. It's pretty heavy duty in there. It's not gonna get lost. I took it on the plane as a carry-on. And uh, no worries there with any of that. Let's pull it out here for you. Okay, so you see it's a nice foam insert in the bag. And I mean, it's, it's in there tight. It's not coming out. All right, so we got the droid out. And this is also, it's got a section in there, like if you had a round one, like a BB-8, so let me see, look at the size. So, I think you can sit right in there. BB-8. Same thing with BB-8. He sits right in there. So here he is. Um, as you saw in the video, we picked the head. The trim pieces, they pop out for sort of an animated arm effect. Um, I put the color corresponding to the red, the white, black. I'm going to do uh, different colors up here. I'm going to put some stripes on him, maybe some numbering. Um, he had the accessory door here too. You could put in there, I believe. I don't know, it was like 15 bucks or 50 bucks. I think it was 15 bucks. You put a unit here and a unit here, and then he does an additional sound. Um, and then I did get the attitude chip that you saw me install there. And I got the one that's called Scoundrel. Alright, so, red foot. Cool uh, details. So let's see what he's got. Here's the head. Alright. So here he is next to Chopper. Chopper's a shorter stature droid anyway. But I mean, size-wise, they're pretty much there. You know. Let's see what we can do here. These guys are fast. Whoa. Check them out. I believe, the, I, be, I believe they'll interact with other ones too, so let's see. That was different. But uh, the remotes are pretty much the same. Um, I like that uh, Choppers is a little more color coded to him. Um, the other one's just white, more I guess R2D2 ish, you know. Um, they do have a sound effect that they play when they're driving. You can't really hear it too well. Maybe I can do it like this. Yeah, 
you don't want to drive the dogs crazy, um, this is the way to do it. But yeah, so here he is, EVH 316, um, the Droid Depot uh, experience at Walt Disney World, and I think it's at, at Galaxy's Edge, and I think it's at uh, Galaxy's Edge at Disney as well. And I do think it's worth it. If you're a collector like I am, and you're not going to be there that often, and it's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing, um, then yeah, by all means, splurge on it and do it. Um, it's a good it's a good time it's a good experience as you saw in the video i think if you watch to watch closely next to me the little girl next to me was building a uh, bb-8 uh, style droid a black one and they took off the covering and there were some really cool details inside different types of pieces i don't think i'll build one of those if i have the other ones but um you know maybe down the road um i might i might do another one who knows i don't know